Hi, this is William at Puget Systems, and today I'm going to be going over the PIX4D benchmark tool we've created, giving you a quick walkthrough and guide. Okay, here's the utility, which hopefully you've downloaded from our website. The first little screen here just has some introductory information, and the next screen tells you what projects we're going to be working with. And it has a link here if you click the Yes button to the PIX4D website, where we can download both sets of data. We've got this one called Building DJI. And then uh, right down here, if you scroll down, you can download the zip file containing the images right there. And then we'll uh, collapse this. And the one right below it, the eagle statue, is the second project. And again, scroll down. You can download the zip file containing the images right there. And I've already done this, so I'm going to go ahead and close on out of here and cancel these downloads. We don't need that. But uh, once you've let those finish downloading on your end, you're going to want to unzip them and create a couple folders. It doesn't really matter what you name them. I've named them Eagle Model and Building Map to be real easy, but you can name them whatever you'd like. The next step here then is to open PIX40, and we're going to create a new project using first the Eagle set of images. So here we go, new project, and you can again name it and locate it wherever you want. I like to keep things together, so I'm going to use the same folders that I created uh, when I was unzipping the images. So there we go, the Eagle Model one, name it Eagle Model. Again, the naming's really not important as long as you can keep track of it. And then add the images here. I prefer to add directory, just to find it simpler, but you can also just add the images manually. And uh, you need to make sure you pick the proper folder where the uh, images actually are. Here I accidentally clicked on the project folder at first. There we go, we've got the images in. And then there's going to be a couple screens where you can just click through next and OK to get through here. But the important one, is right here toward the end we want to make sure for the eagle we pick 3D model. That's the correct one for the eagle set of images and you can even go ahead and check this box to start processing right away. And then it's going to take some time to process through so I'm just going to kind of transition here to being done. This is what it'll look like when it's finished. You can see it says done there. And then at this point we can actually just go ahead and close out. You don't need to save the project or anything. Uh, we're just done. It's created a log file at this point that the program will come through later and analyze. So the next step is to do the same thing with the building set of data. Open PIX4D, create a new project, etc. Uh, so again, we're going to walk through it here. New project, name it appropriately. Uh, in this case, I'm going with building map. I use map and model just to keep the two straight in my head. And again, find where the images were downloaded and unzipped. Add the directory. There we go. And then again, click through a few pages, but on the last one here, we want to make sure we pick 3D map this time. And we do this because it's got a few extra steps uh, that the model doesn't have. So we want to benchmark both situations. And again, it's going to take some time. I'm just going to kind of transition here to the end state. There we go. It's done again, as you can see right there. And again, no need to do anything further, just close on out of this. And the benchmark tool is pretty much going to take it from here. All we need now is to remember where we had those project files, uh, where you created the new projects, because there's going to be log files that PIX4D created there. And our utility here is going to go through and analyze those. So here we go. There's the eagle one. There's the log file, dot log, you can see there. Open it. And... Right there, we got our times. The step one, step two, and then the total, which is just adding them together. There we go. And then it's going to do the same thing for the building log. So here we go again. We'll have to find the right folder. There we go. Then the project folder itself. There's the log file. Open it. Let the benchmark utility process it. And this time there's three steps. There's an extra step for maps, as I mentioned earlier. We've got the three times and the total there. And now it's complete. At that point, everything's done. You should click OK. But it does go ahead and keep the benchmark results there in a text file for you with some additional information, the date and time, the version of PIX4D you're using, system specs with the CPU and GPU, uh, the image count on the project, things like that in case you're curious of those details. And it also relocates the log files here and renames them accordingly so you can keep them for later. And that's pretty much it. You can then take those results that you got and go compare them to what you see on our website or other systems you've got. And of course, I should also mention that if you're in the market for a new PIX4D workstation, we'd be happy to help.
just visit us at pugetsystems.com.